Hello and welcome to the physics presentation of the program Knowledge with Libavans. In this episode, we are going to talk about the physics behind hydroelectric power dams. We'll also try to integrate these concepts of physics with the great Ethiopian Renaissance dam. Stay with us. Hydroelectric power is the production of electricity by harnessing the gravitational potential energy of falling water without using up the water. There are three types of hydroelectric power facilities. These are impoundment, diversion, and pumped storage. The most common type of hydroelectric power plant is an impoundment facility. The Grand Ethiopian Innocence Dam can be considered as a typical example for an impoundment facility. The major components of hydroelectric power plants are the following. Dams. A dam is any retaining structure built across a river to stop or regulate its flow and to raise the water level. Once a dam is built, water accumulates behind it to form a lake or a dam reservoir. Thus, it also includes containment structures for large or small body of impounded water. Turbines A turbine is generally a machine that transforms rotational energy from a fluid that's picked up by a rotor system into usable work or energy. Generators Generators are devices that convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. Then we have the transmission lines. These are interconnector lines that move electricity from generating stations to distribution substations where it's transformed to lower voltage for customers. In hydroelectric power station, the flowing water is stopped in high altitude rivers by constructing dams and stored in huge reservoir behind the dam. The water stored possesses very large amount of potential energy. When this water is released, it flows down by gravity and the potential energy is converted into kinetic energy. The water is then allowed to pass through pipes called penstocks and fall on the blades of big turbines. The force of the falling water pushing against the turbine's plate causes the turbine to spin. The turbines convert the kinetic energy of the falling water into mechanical energy. These turbines are connected to electrical generators. When the shaft of the turbines rotates, the generator coil also rotates rapidly and produces electricity by the principle of electromagnetic induction. The amount of electricity that can be generated from a hydroelectric power depends on two factors. The first factor that affects the power generation is flow rate. Flow rate represents the quantity of water flowing in a given time. When more water flows through a turbine, more electricity can be produced. The flow rate depends on the size of the river and the amount of water flowing in it. Power production is considered to be directly proportional to flow rate. That is, twice as much water flowing will produce twice as much electricity. The second factor is the height. By height, what we mean is the height from which the water falls. The farther the water falls, the more power it has. The higher the dam, the further the water falls, producing more hydroelectric power. Power production is also directly proportional to heat. That is, water falling twice as far will produce twice as much electricity. A standard mathematical equation for calculating power generation of a hydroelectric turbine is P is equal to eta times rho times g times q times h, where eta is the efficiency of the system, rho which is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube is the density of water. G, which is 9.8 meter per second square, is the gravitational constant. Q is the volume of water flow or discharge. And H is the effective head of the water. It's important to note that the loss due to friction before the water reaches the turbine and the loss in the plant itself are taken into consideration by using the effective head rather than the gross head and the plant efficiency, eta, respectively. <laughs> Now let's try to integrate this concept of physics with the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. The Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, or the GERD, is located at 50 km east of the border between Sudan and Ethiopia. It was initially designed as a roller compacted concrete dam, 155 meter high, with 74 km cube storage capacity and 6000 megawatt installed turbine capacity. The main dam body of the GERD has two powerhouses. The right powerhouse has 10 Francis turbine with 3750 megawatt total installed capacity, while the left powerhouse has 6 Francis turbines with 2250 megawatt installed capacity. Each turbine has 270 m3 per second flow capacity, a 500 kV switch arch 
will also be constructed to transmit power from the power station to the grid. Let's use the above equation to calculate the initial estimated total generation of power of the girl. We have Q is equal to 270 meter cube per second, rho is equal to 1000 kilogram per meter cube, and G is equal to 9.8 meter per second square. According to the Ethiopian Electric Power Corporation, the turbine efficiency of the GERD is assumed to be 95%, in addition to 2% head loss. We know that 2% loss means 98% or 0.98 efficiency. Therefore, the effective head is given by 155 meter times 0.98 which gives us 151.9 meter. Then the system net efficiency eta can be calculated as 0.95 times 0.98, which gives us 0.931. The power output of a single turbine generator is P is equal to eta, which is 0.931 times rho, which is 1000 kilogram per meter cube, times Q, which is 270 meter cube per second, times g 9.8 meter per second square times h which is 151.9 meter which results in a total power from a single turbine generator of 375 times 10 to the power of 6 watt which is approximately equal to 375 megawatt we can then calculate the total available power as p total is equal to 16 turbines times power due to a single turbine which gives us 6,000 megawatt. Initially, all the 16 turbines were designed to house 375 megawatt of power. Then 40 of the 16 turbine generators have been upgraded to 400 megawatt, while the two turbine generators remained at 375 megawatt, making the total installed capacity of the turbine generators 6450 megawatt. The head of the dam is also reduced to 145 meter and there are still some modification made on the number of turbine generator without changing the net power generation which is 6450 megawatt. So far 500 kilovolt main power transmission line were completed in August 2017 all going to Holeta and then with several 400 kilovolt lines to the metropolitan area of Addis Ababa. There are also two 400 kV lines running from the dam to the Bellas hydroelectric power plant. Before we finish today's presentation, let's recap some of the important points. In today's presentation, we have defined terms like hydroelectric power, dam, and other terminologies which are associated with power generation using hydroelectric dams. We have also seen how hydroelectric power plants generate electricity using the gravitational potential energy and the kinetic energy of water. We have seen the mathematical expression for the available power from hydroelectric power dam. Finally, we have tried to integrate these concepts of physics with the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. This is all we have for today. Thanks for watching and goodbye everyone.